Goliath. Size. How big was he? Nine six ish. Uh, you figure good army guy, military guy. He probably weighed. Well, you figure nowadays with a six foot army guy, two hundred two hundred fifty pounds, uh, maybe two sixty, fully buffed out across the board. Figure Goliath weighed three three fifty on a good day. That might have been the smaller guy, maybe a little bit more. Plus all of that weight. So now you're talking about seven hundred pounds worth of beast running down a hill. <clears throat> Fifteen foot javelin. Tip weighed somewhere between, what, I say 10, 15 pounds? Somewhere in that made of brass, iron, I mean, massive thing just would have gone. Goliath, massive beast, trusted his size, trusted his sword, trusted his javelin, trusted his shield, trusted his armor. David. Saul, backtrack, Saul trusted his armor, his armies, his sword, his shield. David trusted in his God. Who was victorious? David didn't want the shield. He didn't want the sword. He didn't run to battle with any of it. He ran slap in there with a rock and a slingshot in modern day terms. And his staff. He still had his staff with him. Which I am kind of curious, he would have ran with that thing as a defensive tool. The slingshot was what was offensive. Many times in our life, we look at our obstacles. We look at how big they are, what they're saying to us, how they're yelling and screaming. They're calling us every name in the book. And we look up at them, and we are literally looking up at our obstacle, uh, the things that have now been in our generations and our iniquities, the sin in our lives, the pain that we have, the, the thing that has now held us back. And we look up at them, and we go, that's bigger than anything I know to handle. And what do we do? Unfortunately, we play the Israelite card, and we stand afraid. We may trust medical, not knocking medical. Don't, don't, don't go there on me. We'll trust in our training. We'll trust in our history. We'll trust in what we've seen works. We won't, we will be fearful of what doesn't work. Even though God may be telling us something completely different. We trust in the, the shields and the walls we put up and the armor and all the swords that we come out with, with our aggressiveness and our defensive tools to battle this, this Goliath in our life. When the only thing God is saying, listen, that Goliath has defiled you and defiled me. I've got you if you'll just step forward. But for whatever we, reason, we see Goliath as this unmatched, unbeatable thing, and we forget that our God is bigger than him or it or whatever circumstances in front of us. The thing that I get the most is this little scrawny kid. The only thing he sat down and thought about was that my God was greater. And that thing was mouthing off against my God. He wasn't arrogant. He wasn't prideful. He wasn't boastful. He was confident in his God because his God had already proved to him he'd take care of him across the board. He didn't have anybody backing him up. He didn't have any help. He didn't have this huge crowd of people saying, yeah, you can do this. He didn't have a support group that was right behind him going, yes, you're doing just fine. Keep moving. Just one more step. One more. Th just keep doing that. Now, now swing now. No, he wasn't doing that. He didn't have a coach. He had God. The church as a whole, not this one, not y'all, the church as a whole has forgot that our God is bigger than any Goliath that the enemy may ever send us. 
The church for years cowered under the Goliaths that the enemy fired off at them. Just sat there and watched them sit on the mountain and watched them completely annihilate the way the church should have been stepping up and doing their job. David walks in on the scene. Proves that size doesn't matter. Proves that what you think is armor and what is protection and all the experience you have in the world don't mean squat when God is behind you. Psalms 46. If I can get there. God is our refuge and our strength, our very present help in trouble. Therefore, will I not fear? I won't fear if the earth is trembling. I won't fear if the mountains fall off in the sea. I won't fear. Therefore, will I not fear, though the earth be moved, or removed, excuse me, though the mountains be carried in the sea, though the waters therefore roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with swelling thereof, I will not be afraid because my Lord is my shield, my strength, my place in time of need, my strong tower. All the things we find in these verses that David later on and other people have now written and said, this is who my God is. I'm not going to be afraid of what I think I perceive is going on in front of me. And I said it that way. Again, Scripture later on, New Testament, we see through a glass darkly. We only see so much, people. We only see so far ahead of us that we have to put our trust back in God because if not, Goliath is going to talk us down. How many times have any of us, God, put something on our heart to do, something to, to be, to grow up to be, to have the blessing, to go do something, whatever it may be, and that Goliath of fear got in our face and talked us down. And we sat back and we went, oh, man, I should have went ahead and done it. And Goliath is sitting back there laughing at you. 